Elrod, the thunder, with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim, Ra. I am Allah, the best knowing, the all seeing. These are the verses of the perfect book, and that which has been revealed to you by your Lord is the complete truth. But most people do not still believe in it. Allah is He who raised up the heavens without any pillars that you can see, and He occupied the throne of sovereignty, and He made the sun and the moon subservient to you. Each one of these planets pursues its course for a specified term. He regulates all affairs of this universe. He explains in detail his messages so that you may have firm conviction of the meeting with your Lord. And it is he who drew forth the earth from another heavenly body and made it productive and fertile by means of particles of other planets and made firm mountains and rivers on it. He has grown therein fruit of every kind in a pair comprising both sexes, the male stamens and the female pistols. He causes the night to cover the day. Behold, in all this there are signs for a people who reflect. And in the earth are diverse tracks, side by side, and in them there are gardens of vines and different kinds of cornfields and date palms growing in clusters, many together from one root and others growing separately from different roots. They are all watered with the same water, yet we make some of them excel others in respect of bearing fruit and their taste. Behold, in all this, there are signs to recognize their Lord for a people who use their understanding. And you, O oh reader, are right if you would wonder at the disbelievers for wondrous indeed are their words. Is it true that we shall be raised to a new creation when we are reduced to dust after death? These are the ones who disbelieve in their Lord and these are the ones who shall have halters around their necks. They shall be the fellows of the fire, wherein they shall abide. They want you to hasten on their punishment, in preference to your doing them good, whereas there has already been awarded to the people before them exemplary punishment. Verily your Lord is full of forgiveness to humankind, despite their unjust doings, yet your Lord is likewise strict in inflicting punishment. And those who disbelieve say, Why has no sign of destruction been sent down to him from his Lord? While you are naught but a warner and a guide for every people. Allah knows what every female carries and he knows what the wombs miscarry, and what they nourish and help to grow. He has the proper and fixed measure of everything. He is the knower of the hidden realities and the visible, the incomparably great, the most exalted. He among you who conceals his thoughts, and he speaks them aloud, and also he who lurks by night, and he who goes forth openly by day are all alike in his knowledge. He, the messenger, has companies of angels successively ranged before him and behind him. They guard him by the command of Allah. Verily, Allah does not change the condition of the people until they first change their ways and their minds. When Allah decides upon punishing a people, there is no averting it. At that time they have no helping friend apart from him. He it is who shows you the lightning to induce fear and to inspire hope in you, and it is he who raises the heavy clouds. And the thunder glorifies him with his true praise, and so do the angels in awe of him. 
he sends the thunderbolts and therewith smites whom he will. Yet they dispute about Allah, though he is mighty in prowess. He alone deserves being called upon in prayer. Those they call upon apart from him give them no response whatsoever. But these polytheists pray to them like one who stretches forth both of his hands towards the water, wishing that it may reach his mouth, while it never reaches it. And the call of the disbelievers is naught but in vain. All those that are in the heavens and on the earth submit to Allah alone, whether they choose to obey willingly or not, and likewise do their shadows in the mornings and the evenings and they are all subject to the divine law, his law of nature. Ask them, who is the Lord of the heavens and the earth? They will not be able to answer it. Therefore say, it is Allah. Say again, have you even then taken apart from him such other helpers as have no power to receive good or avoid harm even for themselves? Say, is the blind person as good as the person who can see? Or are the different kinds of darkness the same as the light? Or have they ascribed to Allah associate partners who have created the things as he has created, with the result that the two creations look similar to them? Say, Allah alone is the creator of all things, and he is the one, the most supreme. He sends down some water from the clouds, so that the water courses flow up to their capacity, and the torrent carries on its surface swelling foam. And out of that metal which the people heat in the fire, seeking to make ornaments and other articles, a similar foam rises to the surface of it. In this way does Allah illustrate truth and falsehood. As for the foam, it goes away as does all dross. But as to that which does good to humankind, it stays in the earth. That is how Allah sets forth excellent description of things. There is an everlasting good in store for those who respond to the call of their Lord. And as for those who do not respond to his call, even though they had possessed all that is on the earth and as much more, they would certainly offer it to ransom themselves with it. And it is these for whom an evil reckoning awaits, and their refuge is Jahanna. What a wretched place to rest! How can then he who knows that what has been revealed to you from your Lord is the truth be like the person who is blind? Only those possessed of pure and clear understanding do give thought. These are the persons who fulfill the covenant they made with Allah and do not break their solemn pledge. These are the persons who keep the ties of love and relationship Allah has commanded to be kept, who hold their Lord in awe, and who dread the evil reckoning. And these are the persons who patiently persevere in virtues and in guarding against evil seek the favor of their Lord and observe prayer, and who spend out of what we have provided them, secretly and openly, and who avert evil by repaying it with good. It is these who shall have the best end of the present abode. Everlasting gardens of paradise, where they themselves, and also such of them as are righteous and fit for earning a place in heaven, from among their fathers, and their spouses, and their children shall enter, and angels shall attend on them from every door, saying, Peace be ever upon you, because you patiently persevered in virtues and guarded against sin. How excellent and blissful is the reward of this abode in the hereafter! But as for those who break the covenant they made with Allah, after having ratified it, and sever the ties Allah has commanded to be kept, and disturb the peace of the country. It is these on whom lies the disapproval of Allah, 
and they shall have an evil end of this abode. Allah amplifies the means of livelihood for such of his people as he will, and straightens them for such of them as he will. Some people are happy with the present life, whereas the present life, as compared with the hereafter, is but a fleeting and insignificant enjoyment. And those who disbelieve say, Why has no sign of the destruction of his opponents been revealed to this prophet from his Lord? Say, Verily Allah lets him go astray who wishes to be left in error, and guides to himself only those who turn again and again to him. Those who believe and whose hearts find peace in the remembrance of Allah, look, it is in the remembrance of Allah alone that the hearts really find peace. Those who believe and do deeds of righteousness, an enviable state of bliss is theirs in this world, and an excellent and blissful place of return awaits them in the hereafter. It is therefore we have sent you to a people before whom other peoples have passed away, so that you may recite to them that Qur'an which we have revealed to you. Yet they disbelieve in God the Most Gracious. Say, He is my Lord, there is no other, cannot be, and will never be one worthy of worship but He. In Him do I put my trust and to him is my complete return. Had there been a Qur'an whereby mountains could be moved, or whereby the earth could be torn asunder, or whereby the dead could be made to speak, it is this very Qur'an indeed. Behold, the commandment and all power belongs to Allah. Have not those who believe realized yet that if Allah had enforced his will, he would have indeed guided all humankind? And as for those who disbelieve, one calamity or the other will continue to befall them, owing to their evil activities, till you come to a light in their neighborhood, until the promise of Allah about the conquest of Mecca comes to pass. Verily, Allah will not fail this promise of His. And surely messengers before you were treated scornfully. But at first I granted respite to those who disbelieved. After that I took them to task. And behold how exemplary was then my punishment. How shall he who stands watchful over each and every soul as to what it accomplishes? Let them go unpunished in spite of his knowledge. And yet they ascribe to Allah several partners. Say, would you name their attributes? And would you inform him of something important, which is on the earth but unknown to him? Or are these merely empty and false words? Nay, the fact of the matter is that their designing and their activities are made fair-seeming to the believers by Satan and they have been barred from the right path, and he whom Allah forsakes has no guide. They are doomed to punishment in the present life and the next, but the punishment of the hereafter will of course be graver still. They will have no savior at all from the punishment of Allah. The likeness of the garden of paradise, which has been promised to those, who become secure against sin and are dutiful, is that of a garden served with running streams to keep it green and flourishing. It has everlasting fruit, and so will be its shade. Such is the end of those who guard against sins, but the end of disbelievers is the fire. And those to whom we have given the insight of the book rejoice at what has been revealed to you. But there are some factions of other religions who deny some of its parts. Say, I have only been commanded to worship Allah and not to associate anything with Him. To Him do I call you and to Him is my return. Just as we revealed other scriptures, so have we revealed it, the Qur'an, 
as a clear judgment couched in arabic and if you o reader were to follow their vain desires after the knowledge has come to you you will have not a single helper nor a savior against the punishment of allah and most surely we sent before you many messengers and we gave them wives and children yet it was not possible for a messenger to bring a sign but by allah's command for everything that has an appointed term there is a divine law to regulate it allah repeals the law relating to punishment what he will and he establishes and confirms what he pleases and with him is the source and origin of all laws and commandments we will indeed let you witness o muhammad the realization of some of the punishments with which we threaten them the disbelievers with before we cause you to die you are responsible only for the delivery of the message and the reckoning is our own responsibility do they not see that we are invading the land of disbelief and are gradually reducing and curtailing it from its sides allah judges the matter there is none to reverse his judgment swift is he at calling to account and their predecessors did devise plans against the truth but all effective devising and the success of the plans rest with allah he knows what every person accomplishes the disbelievers will soon come to know who will gain the good and successful end of this abode and those who disbelieve say you are not a sent one of god say allah suffices as a witness between me and you and so are those who possess knowledge of the divine book <laughs>